So I got this idea to come to Israel um, a few years back. Uh, I wanted to do just uh, some different travels, try to, to look for, for some snow into some uh, uncommon destination. So the idea of the trip was to travel there, meet the people, meet the riders and share our common passion. Here we are in Tel Aviv. Uh, apparently the surf conditions are alright so we're gonna surf. Uh, two more snowboarding. We just went surfing and we met uh, the real first uh, Israeli snowboarder. It was 80 or 88 or 89 I started snowboarding. But I mean, in the first two years, it was diff really difficult because they wouldn't let us go with the snowboard to the top. The army came because it's a military site and they said to us, you have to stop. Yeah, you have to understand the whole mountain is a military, closed military zone. Now in the past 10 years, it happened twice that we got shelled on the people riding in the resort. We haven't been to the resort yet, but apparently it's a military zone and sometimes uh, they evacuate the resort, totally different life, same passion, but they experience that like totally different. We're now finally in uh, Motermen and luckily we just got like at least 30 centimeters of fresh snow. The resort is closed but the locals and the army is gonna help us to go on top so it should be a good first part of the day in Israel. Just enjoying, snowboarding, good snow, and we're like a couple meters from Syria, a couple meters from Lebanon. We can see militaries everywhere with guns. It's pretty impressive for us because we're not used to that. adventure was a real success. What I learned from that trip is that whatever the mountain or whatever the situation or whatever the people, the religion, I just discovered that uh, we had the same passion and love for snowboarding and that's the main thing for me. <laughs>